Um, a couple of people have asked me how to set up ISID, and um, I actually went back and after a year or so of having an ISID concept for all my tunes, it got really annoying, you know, being on my druid and critical mass from a mage is being tracked on my druid. It's like, why does my druid need to know that? So I ended up going through and setting each individual character their own thing, which I recommend doing from the get-go. But um, I haven't been on this lock in a long time, so I figured I will get on this lock and show you guys how exactly I set up ISID the way I do. And the first thing I notice is, um, if you follow my mouse here in the middle, that this is my health, this is my um, my mana. I don't like it like this. I like having my information on the left side of the screen, and I like having the target's information on the right side, where you can see like the gray bar of the target's health. Plus, you can see how this little portrait shows up here. I don't like seeing my target's portrait. I don't need to, because I have the information right here. Um, I do keep my information down here, even though it's right there, just because I don't know, it's hard for me to keep track of that easy. I, that's a big green thing I can keep track of. It's kind of my thought process on it. So, you open a bison. Great. What do you do now? Well, the first thing you want to look at it. I'm looking over like 10,000 things at once. Alright, so um, I, want my, I, want, I like my health. I just want my mana on the left. So, player mana. Now this will say if you want on the right or the left side. I want it on the left side. I want it to offset too, which is how far off from it is. Cool. That's exactly where I want it. Now target. Target health. That says it's on the left, and I don't want it there. I want it on the right. That offset one. That way it mirrors mine pretty much. You can see right there. And then target mana. Right offset two, is that right? Right offset two? So hey, and you can just to double check this, you can click yourself. Oh, looking good so far, see? Now I like these being mirrored just for my own use. Okay, but I don't like how my cast bar's inside, but my target's cast bar's outside. So I'm going to go to target cast. Target, 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 target cast. And my mouse is really bitchy at the moment. I need a new mouse. I love my Naga, but I need a new one just because it's being really touchy. It's kind of irritating, actually. And I'll move that to offset zero. And now, uh, you know what I didn't do? Actually, you know it doesn't matter. Look, profiles. Are we on default? We're on default. That's absolutely fine. That means default set that way. I will switch this real quick to, let's see, good tip if you need to do this. Uh, what tune am I on? Tears of Fear is on Boulder Fist. Copy from default, and all that information should come back. This is a good tip to know, because it makes it easy copying from one tune to another. Like if you have two rogues, you can just like copy your original rogues info from one server to another one. So, is all the information the same? See, all the information is the same. So, good tip to know. <laughs> My mess up becomes and you got that's one thing I like that also just like about ice one. All right, come on, pop up, baby. There you go. Yeah, my mouse is being touchy. So we have that set up. Now this is just getting this lined up, kind of how I like it. Um, I don't want to see my pet bar and my pet mana because I like having mine down there. You can do it how you want. So pet mana, I'm just gonna disable. If my shit doesn't double click, pet, I'm just gonna disable. Get rid of it. I don't like it. I don't want it. Now, if you notice how I don't care about having my target thing there, or in this case, my focus, so I can actually hide those. So where's my target health? I can pull it out. Hide blizzard frame. So like, this is my target, right? Now if I hit click hide blizzard frame, once, because my mouse is retarded. There you go, it's gone. Works the same with focus. Where's focus? Focus health. I want to enable that because I actually like having it in the middle. And then on top of that, you can then hide the default one. Boom, gone. So I can set this then as my focus, which is this bar, or fuck, I can set myself as my focus. And if I set myself as my focus, oh, I gotta turn on focus cast enable. Oh, focus cast enabled. So I set myself as my focus. There, you can see I'm casting. But, I don't like 
if you notice. I see how my health's way over here, but my cash is over here. This would be your focus. Since I'm not showing focus mana, because I really don't care. Focus mana, or no, focus health. We're gonna move that offset over. Can we do that? Can we move that offset over? Too far, negative two. Wait, what? Oh, am I a cast? No, I'm on health. Why is this not going over? Focus health. Or was it focus? There it is. I'm ignore that. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. <laughs> I wanted to move the cast over the health. Why wasn't the health moving? I don't know. That'll work though. All right, let's just heal up real quick. I've been drinking a little, so bear with me. But this should still be good. All right, now we can actually get into doing the dots. Ten minutes later. Just That's just how you get it set. You know, I'm going to make this a two-parter. I'm going to stop this part now. And this is just kind of how to move stuff around and get it set up how you want it. And I'm going to upload another one right after it about how to actually set up dots and um, timers and stuff like I use. So I will see you in the next one.